Hey guys, it's Nandika here bringing you another episode of Dreamlight Valley. We have two new updates, one for the expansion pack and one for the regular content. Nandika has found these while diving off the shore of Dazzle Beach. I already have some in my collection. Maybe you could eat. Wait, she just gives you stuff? Merlin is deep in his research. Wait a bit before speaking to him. All right, that's totally fine. We've been pretty busy with some of the stuff in Eternal Isle. I actually do like that place quite a bit. And it is about time that we got some new content for it so this is something i didn't know about until as i was playing it i do play this game off screen i just don't play it all that often because if you guys don't know this is your first time watching this video i only really record new updates and as long as it's like you know big updates like this for story content if you don't know with certain things in eternity isle you get the time bending staff but if you go to time bending, you get all these required items or these items that you can create with your staff. Currently, they added a couple of new things. So they added an ancient handle, ancient hook, and an ancient screw. If you click on them, for example, the glimmer, you can only get that when you're in the other realms of inside the castle, the dreamlike castle. These items are required to create certain things such as let's see let's go with the fragments oh we get these things out Fro broken lollipop and the broken metal sign that's obviously the ratatouille sign greenstone carving huh because they did add a couple of things here and there in the new update as well for the the staff which is good pink floral pillow stained glass fragment that's beauty and the beast and a tunish canister that's actually kind of cute you click on these You'll notice on the bottom where to like where to find it, hourglass level, and all that stuff. You'll notice that on the availability, it won't show. So currently today, the greenstone carving is available. I think that's the only thing that's available actually today. This actually helped me quite a bit, and I'm gonna show you in a few. These are required to make certain furniture. This will help, like the crack palace tower. That'll make the little diorama of Agraba. That's shown in the movie of Aladdin uh, in the Sultan's Palace. You need at least 10 and then 25 Glimmer. The Glimmer is probably going to be the one that takes a lot, well, the, a lot longer to get, honestly. This is new for your star path. I can do all this. I need to actually buy this, but that's okay. Let's just take a look at this. This is all created for the Disney parks. These are really cute. Oh, okay. I mean, I would imagine it would be uh, reverse colors. Like the band would be purple and then yellow with the rim, but to each their own. Okay, we got this. Dumbo looks adorable. We got Space Mountain. We got the ice cream. That's really nice, actually. This is actually kind of cute. Okay, we got the Toy Story ride. That's not a circus, that's a pirate. Who are you trying to fool? She does look cute. And then you get Minnie, which is adorable. Decorate your valley in a manner fit for a festival of royalty. Make it lavish, make it elegant, make it you. I want that fox, the royal fox. Oh, they changed the layout of this, okay. <gasps> Oh my gosh, wait, is that Ariel's dress? Oh, you get hey hey, Carl's house. Is this actually livable? Oh, it is. That's kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. So it's basically all this that I want. So 3,750, 1,750, 1,750, and 3,000. I'm gonna be broke. Let's just keep looking around. I guess I can give you guys a little tour of where I currently live, at least in the main valley. This is my little corner in my Forest Valor location. Added some trees. I made a little pretty mystical wishing well area with the dreamlight trees. I, I, I love those trees a lot because they're one of my favorite trees. Next to the ancient valley, yeah, the ancient valley trees. These are really pretty because they match with the aesthetic. All the berries and all the th things you collect like the lemons the gooseberries they're all here because i wanted to make my own little garden and you have this is the entryway and i still am figuring out what to make for this area i have like a camping set here because of the rv which i don't know where else to put it and then i have a little marketplace here going on over here i added i moved anna's house over here so that way it's a little bit closer to the ice area and I added Belle's library, which is adorable. It fits very well here. And I actually added Lady Tremaine's mansion over here too. I will say this is one of my favorite things that I bought with Mike Wazowski's and Sully's window because I did it like this, so that way it looks like I'm inside when I go up and down the elevator. Not much has changed in here. I'm just prowling around on this. I don't like that you could see through that, but okay. So these are one of the items that you can make with the fragments. That's 
Scrooge's coin. This is the timetable. We can actually look at some stuff because they did add a couple of new things. We might as well upgrade our next level. So let's do that. The upcycle menu allows you to transform items you have into items with similar properties. You can only create items that you have discovered by other, other means. Whoa, what? Dismantle items to obtain dust. Use dust. Oh, I remember they showed some new item to make things. Those are the dust things. Okay, now I see. Use dust and mist to create new items in the same type. That's what, because you do get these. If Even if you made the items, like I was telling you, which I'm going to show you in a bit, you are going to get more because it just happens at random. I still need to get Kristoff. I need to get that wooden ore. He's the only um, thing I'm missing. As far as fragments, these are the things. That's what that is. That's actually really elegant. Dang. Isabella's flower bed. That's really cute. Sugar Rush starting lane. Very cute. I can add that in the desert area. That's where I have Vanellope's house. <gasps> this is so pretty. If you don't know already, the glimmer is what you need to make all of these fragment fragmented um, furniture. And you need specific items that come at different days. That's why you have to keep checking on the time bending area in the main menu. The hard part, like I told you, is the glimmer because that sometimes two to three appear depending how big the world is in the realms. That's where that's the only place you can get them. So the only ones I've managed to get so far is the monster frames, uh, Scrooge's first dime. I got the VA cafe actually. Oh, I also have the tapestry as well. I actually have enough of these to make more. Like I have enough broken swords to make it. I just need more glimmer. Okay, now the mission for Merlin came in, but that's for Eternity Isle, I believe. Let me actually see. Do I have any available quests? Oh, I do. Mickey has some new. Okay, so it is Mickey I have to talk to. Another new thing, which is not even new. I'm just slow. The shiny gift is actually your ticket to bump up your characters to a higher level instead of just giving them their three favorite items. You can actually buy these also at Scrooge's store, which we're gonna check out because I think they added new furniture as well. I don't know how long this episode will be. I really just wanna see how to get Daisy and then, you know, move on to the Eternity Isle. I have so much to do. Okay. Okay, we got a new wardrobe. Let me get that. Pink hair dryer. That's a new one. Oh, I guess it's for Daisy, that's why. Yeah, they've been coming up with a lot of these other tabletop sinks and other kitchen utensils and stuff. I have a different colored one, but these are just another variation of it. Uh, whoa, this is new. Rustic chandelier. We finally got- I finally got a new chandelier, jeez. All right, Mickey, let's talk. Ah, my foot's asleep, Jesus. I opened my mailbox this morning and found a sparkly purple envelope addressed in both Minnie and me. I'm just talking right now, I'm, I'm not even Sparkly, purple, who's the letter from? Our pal Daisy Duck. I knew it was the second I saw the envelope. I'm just gonna talk, I can't. She left the village to investigate the forgetting. Daisy said getting to the bottom of it was more important than anything. And that she'd be back with the biggest news story the valley's ever seen. So what did the letter say? She sounds, is she in danger? No, nothing like that. Her letter said she found out something about the forgetting during her adventures, and now she's ready to come back to the valley. She wrote ahead to ask if we can make her sh sure her house is in great shape. Gosh, I can't blame her. She's been out on a one long camping trip. I'll set Daisy's house right away. Let me know if you need any help getting Daisy's house ready. Okay, cool. Maybe, can I fit here actually? I mean, I don't want it to be in front of the lake. No, let's put it right here with the other neighbors. If anything, I might switch Stitch's house out of here. I only put it up here because in the actual movie, it is above the area, but I might just move it down here. I'll just have to switch the street around, but that's fine. <laughs> Looky here, house as stylish as its owner. It'll be a great addition to the valley once it's built. Okay, let's do it. Welcome, Daisy. How pastel. <laughs> All right, so far so good. She looks adorable. How fabulous, Dream Life Valley. It's so good to be home. And that Nikki, it's you. You came back too. My, 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 have I missed you and this place. I just had to get to the root of the forgetting, find a solution and help our village. That's why I left. Goodness, I've been away so long. How, did you discover anything? I did. The forgetting has strong ties to the old ruler, which is you, am I right? How'd you know? You just got back. I'm a professional. Now, after all my adventuring and investigating, I'm ready to settle back into valley life and help make this place sparkle again. And in that spirit, let's go inside my house. I have something marvelous to show you. Don't be a stranger. 
I'm pretty sure it's just to show the contents of the shop she gets, the boutique. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not too excited with the boutique. I understand why people like it, and I'm not saying it's not a good idea. I should actually move. This is gonna be bothersome, but let's just go in the house. But we'll see if I might change my mind later down the road. Ah, look at that little miniature figure. Oh, it's you! Fabulous, you're here. There are a couple things I think I should remind you of. Before the forgetting, you had a place where you share your amazing creativity and personal style. It was called the Boutique, a shop filled with stylish custom creations for everyone. That sounds amazing. It really was. I loved it and I was determined to protect it. So when the forgetting started, I went to see the fairy godmother for help. Sorry, I butchered that. She shrunk the boutique to make it pocket size and I hid it here in my house. And today's the day I finally get to give the boutique back to you. Don't we need to make it big again? I just can't, I can't just eat a cookie and make myself small. <laughs> of course you can't, silly. But you can make the boutique bigger with a Wonderland amplification elixir. What are the ingredients? The recipe mentions dream shards, carrots, topaz, and white daisies. Once you've crafted the wonderful, the Wonderland amplification elixir, you can apply it to your royal watering can. Then you just have to water it the boutique. Sounds simple enough. Mm -hmm. When that's done, just take it and place it in the valley. Done. There we go. And we just pick this up. I think the best spot for it right now, right now, will definitely be near Scrooge's place. Yeah, like around here. That's actually perfect. Once that's done with that, I'll just level her up once, and then I'll call it apart. Because I want to see what she actually gives. Very spacious, darling. Talk to Daisy. Where is she? Wait, where is she? Oh, there she is. Oh, it's even more gorgeous than I remembered, and soon it'll be even brighter with your creations. Welcome to the boutique, Nat Nikki. This is where you can display and share the clothes and furniture you design with travelers from other valleys. Is there something I have to do? No, not at all, but it's a great way to flex your creativity. Hmm. Let's say I wanted to display something I've created. What do I start? Oh, it's a snap. Just place one of your creations on a mannequin or furniture pedestal for everyone to see. Mm -hmm. After that, come back and talk to me and we'll discuss the next step. Uh, let me see. Give you this. Yeah, you see, it just helps them level up faster. Ah! Jesus Christ, what was that? Let's see. Level two. Okay. Oh, the dress is actually kind of cute. You get a hair salon outfit, the vanity... And a couple for other name, usual stuff. But okay. That's going to conclude this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. If you already paid the game already, this is all free content for you. The only time you have to pay anything is if you've already paid for the expansion pass, which is the Eternity Isle. But if you already have that, this second content, when you get Oswald, as well as new story content, will also be free for that expansion. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. More gaming content, art videos, Disney content, and more to come on my channel. Check down the description down below, guys. All my social links are down below, as well as my art comments are updated on my Instagram, as well as my Patreon, if you want more exclusive art goodies and support for my channel and my art journey. Also, be sure to hit the notification bell, guys, if you haven't already, so that way you know my next video goes live. And with all that said, I will see you all in the next video. Bye! Thank you.